Guten Morgen, everyone. So if you see this, remember this video, um, I, I did a price for the lady. Um, she wants some tests and inspecting doing. So we're going to go and do that today. And just before anyone asks, this will get asked, what do I use? I use my iPad with iCertify on it. And also my freshly, even though it's brand new, my freshly calibrated um, meter. Then I see what it calibrated again. Uh, I have to find something wrong, I guess. So yeah, we get, we get, we got the KT63 Plus. My iPad, it got me all my lights and stuff, sandwich. Yeah, let's go. So here we go. This is the second part to the workshop, this sort of next door. This is the second part. It's a few sockets, quite obvious. It's nice and surface clipped and then sort of tucked underneath here. This is nice. I don't mind this. This is easy. This is an easy one to test. Next door, I'll show you. So here we have that RCD with three ways. I reckon it's a 20 amp radio, 30 amp ring in the workshop, 6 amp lighting. Not sure about this, but we'll have a look now. It's a homemade consumer unit. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right, so what they have done is brought the power from the house in an armoured. I don't know how this is landed, if that is earthed at all, okay, which will have to be sorted. But um, it's taped up this end, brought the feed and the neutral in. They then put an earth rod in. Pitch you just saw was full of mud and it's quite loose. I'm going to test that in a second anyway. Um, I'm not sure where the other bond goes off to, so that must be the one coming in. They've obviously taken another bond somewhere else. Not sure on that one yet. Since you last saw, I've been having a bit of a hunt around and I realised that there's water in here, look. So there's a tap coming out the ground and that's where the other water bond goes, but oh, oh dear. Yeah, I think I think it was earth in that Black & Decker bench there, so that, that would have been alright if he was working on that, but not on the water pipe, so <laughs> we'll, we'll have to sort that out. Look, we'll do that today, I've got some earth clamps, we'll get that done. That's where the other bond's going to, so... I wonder if that is a poly pipe, but they've got an outside tap, so it does need, um, does need bonding copper, right? Yeah. I've just gone out, gone around, removed anything that's plugged in, like lamps, bulbs, whatever you want to call them, daffodils, anything that's in the sockets, they're all clear, any sockets that I can see. I'm now going to, what I'm going to do today is do the wonder lead. So I'll, I'll connect him up at the board. I'll come around, do some R2 tests at every point, make sure we got a nerve, record the readings, and then I can do some insulation resistance testing. Well, installation is off to the top of isolator, okay? I've disconnected the main water bond, which I think it is, and the main earth. I'm just testing with my wonder lead. That's onto the main earth. So I've proved the main earth goes out there on the wonder lead and i'm going to stick that end on the water and we'll recheck make sure you know this obviously because you'll get a reading of like 85 ohms okay so he's now on the water bond we'll go and check the board end you can label these up then see 2.03 exactly the same perfect so because this is so because this is a db so we'll call db1 will be the house which i will label so add a new distribution board okay that'd be like workshop so i'm going to do my earth loop and my psc at the board now not bad not bad for an earth spike 45.02 earth loop ohms on that and then um 5.397, we'll just do a PSC now, okay? So disconnect the, we'll just go between the live and neutral. Yeah, yeah, should have bought me head strap, I know. Change the meter over. Let's go. Okay, we we'll record that 843 amps on PSC, okay? That's the highest reading. Okay, 
So I'm just powering up the circuit, working through the sockets, what's on what, and counting up as I go. So we got one, two, three, four, five, all okay. And then I come to this one. This is why you want to do every check every socket for your polarity. If you didn't check that, look, we've got a live and neutral reverse there, okay? So I will rectify that today for the client and then we'll retest that. So that's the socket, I've just popped them off, as you can clearly see. The live and neutral are around the incorrect way, so it just shows that this was never ever tested correctly. Okay, this socket wasn't checked, he might have checked the cabling, but he never checked this socket because it's always been wired incorrectly, look. But again, I'm not hiding any bad work, I'm just showing you the faults. The um the client just kindly bought me a coffee, look. They must watch my YouTube channel, surely. So I rectified that faulty socket over there. I'm now gonna go disconnect and uh, do some end-to-ends continuity um, insulation resistance testing on this. I think it's gonna be okay, to be fair. So I've made a decision rather than carrying out my um, end-to-ends here, because look, you've got this horrible big connector. I don't want to disturb that. And I also don't want to disturb all this horrible sleeving, which is all doubled up. So one, two, three, four, five cables into one. It's all twisted and horrible. So I'm going to go and do it at the socket, okay? So luckily I've only got the earth to untwist. Let me just do it. And do it here. The meat is nulled, ready to go. Okay, so we're going to do our R1. One second, though. Right, going to do our R1 first. He says. And that's given me nothing, so let me just um, come back to you. Well, I just renolled the ends of the meter there. So 0.20, so we're looking for the same on the RN. Oops, nearly there. 2 1, yep. Yeah. And then obviously it's going to be 1.67 times higher because it's 1.5 on the earth. Yeah, looks about right. So we know we've got full continuity on the ring final and the readings are within. So we can record those, do an R1, R2 and then do some insulation resistance. So I've just done a calculation, 0 0.20 times 1.67. It should be about... 0 0.33 so obviously we're a little bit high there so we'll just as this is such a small ring i'll just show you this today you could just put this down on your test sheet as further investigation um what we'll do today we'll rectify it and i'll just show you how i'm going to rectify it okay so before i've done anything we've got 0 0.39 now i'm going to disconnect some of the socket fronts tweak all the earth connections up uh, make sure they're all okay and we'll retest so this is just a clear, this is just to show you one of the reasons why we don't like the um, the old JBs under the floors with the screw terminals. Because if you had like a high resistance joint, it's near on impossible to actually find the fault. Whereas the maintenance free ones now, the cable comes out, they just get tighter. Um, that's why they're allowable now. And the old inaccessible joint boxes aren't allowed with the screw terminals, as I said. Because if, if the screws do rattle loose and then we can only test what we can see. Um, you'd have to rip the floorboards up, um, but that would again, that would be something you'd have to discuss with the client if they wanted it fixed in, which it would have to be fixed because um, there's no way they would get a clear, um, you know, they, you couldn't you couldn't give them a satisfactory if the readings aren't within the scope, okay, of the design. So that's just a bit of information there. So I've done one socket; it was a little bit loose. I'd be surprised if it does change anything because the earths are twisted, so that should be officially a good reading it might even be loose at the board um i'll go and check that in a minute but we'll do all the connections first then i'll come back and see you so that's it i've retightened every socket i've tightened the cables at the board and that is the best <laughs> it's just got a little bit worse that is the best i can get this down to unfortunately 
37 so sometimes the science doesn't work out i physically know there's no cables jointed anywhere and that's the reading i can get okay so i've just created a big loop um with the line of one cable and the um, cpc of the other likewise there so we've created a big loop of cable now so your r1 push your r2 divided by four that should be the reading okay each socket all right i've just done some quick maths um, we should be getting readings of 0 0.14 roughly. It's good. Take both sides of the socket, obviously. 2.8, so that means this socket doesn't get used, okay? So it's so either got a bit dirty, dirty contacts or switch. So give it a bit of a wiggle. So, so we're looking for that each socket, okay? I just want to go back to this. Remember when I said um, you can, that will show you bad polarity. Remember these testers won't do neutral earth polarity incorrect because neutral and earth is, can, is, is basically the same thing in a PME system. It's connected at the same place. So the only way you do find that is if when, once you're doing your R1, R2 test, you go around and you don't get a reading on the socket, you know that the pins are around the wrong way, okay? That's the only way you do it. And once then it's correct, then you can tick your polarity on your sheet, not with one of these, okay? So I've just carried out my insulation resistance testing across uh, line neutral and earth across the whole lot and um, remembering this to be turned off because it will feed through here. You don't want to knacker this RCD. Test it on 250 first. Um, but yeah, it's all clear. Just got me 500, greater than 500 mega ohms. So yeah, great, good circuit. Just a shame about this little setup here. So, so I've plugged my meter in. I'm trying to do an earth loop at the socket and it tripped the RCD straight away. Now trying to measure it, it won't even test it, that. Let's try again, shall we? No, it won't even let me test it. They won't even let the tester go on that. So that's a faulty RCD, okay? So that's sort of poo-pooed this. I can't do any earth loops on anything because it's all connected to that RCD. And I can't do any RCD testing because it won't hold in. So yeah, that's uh, that RCD's fudged and it needs replacing really, but I'm going to recommend that they have the new board put up in here. I'm now going to do the rest of the testing on this one socket radial. There's these little lighting circuits where you see the picture they've wired the feeds to the switch here. So that's going to be nice and easy. And then we'll move on to the house. So just to give you a bit of variety, I'm just working through the lighting circuit as there's only one, two, three, four, five points. Obviously the switches aren't points. So any of think that a light bulb is in it's a point. So it's three points. I'm going to get the wonder lead out and we're just going to do some R2 readings at each point to make sure that the earth continuity is good. So I've pulled enough off my wonder lead, left him in. We're obviously using that as the return path. Just stick him on there and then test. Do that at each point. That's it, that's your R2 reading. Now I've gone through each point as I've come away from the consuming it. This has got um, higher, which tells me that this, this is end of line, basically. I can see it, that it's end of line. So I've tested him on there. And that's the, rec the reading I'll record because it's um, the highest reading, okay? So the insulation resistance is, oh, I can't believe I left that uncharged last night, stupid boy. I only use the iPad for work. So uh, I'm just gonna do my ZS here now. This is end of line, last cable, switches on, and we do our um, do our ZS here, all right? <laughs> I'm in work mode, sorry. Um, we can't do a ZS here because the RCD won't allow us to. Mm. <laughs> my bad, oh well. Measure supply, that feeder box down, comes underground. 
because there's a TT that's been converted to PME. No SPD. Right, so I'm unable to locate the oil bond. The plumber has cut it off and I can't find it because I've had a new boiler fitted in April. This, I remember this is wired around the wrong way, so I'm going to take that off and have a look. Um, so we've got to do a test here anyway. We're going to find where the, I think this has now got a little shower pump on. It's been converted from electric shower to a shower pump, but I'll show you in a minute. So I've done the R1, R2 at the switch and what you can see is they've wired the feed into the neon side so it will never, that neon will never go off. So while I'm here, I'll switch these cables over for them. So I think the husband said these, change the switch, nothing works. So may as well have a look while I'm here, let's have a look. Hmm, <laughs> okay. So I just said to the client, I know what's wrong with these, but I cannot connect these up because they're IP20. We're in zone two of the bathroom. So they need to be IP44 minimum. Okay. So one, I'm not gonna connect them up. I'll make the switch safe. Um, I'll disconnect and leave it. Very brilliant. That's the shower supply. Just does a little pump out look. Good job. Oh man, whoo! How did people do three of these in a day? I don't know. Right, start at half eight. It's now half past three. No lunch, I had a quick sandwich as I was going. Anyway, sorry about the filming in the afternoon. It was a bit um, up and down. Um, I needed to get cracked on. The plumber came and he ripped a unit out. He wasn't coming to do, so thanks to John for coming to do that for me. He ripped out an old water softener, which he wanted doing, and I just called him and he came and done it. Right, few things I found, workshop. No label on the main earth, uh, water bonds disconnected, the RCD is faulty and the consumer is completely ancient, that set up, okay. House, unable to locate the bond to the gas, uh, not the gas, the oil. The armoured out to the workshop's not glanded, it's cut and they've done that weird horrible thing. So that needs sorting. The bathroom lights in zone two, not correctly IP rated. The shower switch in the airing cupboard's got a massive hole in it. The resist, it's high resistance on the R and an R2 on the ring for the rest of the house. The kitchen circuit was fine. The rest of the house has got high resistance. Um, 
worse on the earth so that that needs further investigation on that connection units under the kitchen um they're all loose no screws in them no earth continuity of light fitting in the hallway i took the cover off um it's not double insulated um someone's just put a two core flex to it and then bodged some connectors behind so that needs sorting out pull cord in the bathroom's got a hole in the side the consuming it's plastic non-fire rated non-mixed wiring sticker no rc protection on the sockets all the light in and no surge protection that's what i found so i'm going to send the customer the report and then we'll go from there maybe i'll get some work out of it who knows i've told her to get get a two or three quotes whatever she wants to do but we shall see eh yeah see you on the next one take care don't forget to subscribe come on hit the subscribe button why not just do it, it doesn't cost nothing thanks a lot